Game, game Dev, dev journey. journey. Everything and Nothing Dev is a channel which really likes to push the boundaries of the Godot game engine to see what's possible at the bleeding edge. Can Godot produce AAA graphics, photorealism, realistic lighting and shadows? These are the questions which Everything and Nothing Dev is trying to answer. How much performance and image quality can we squeeze out of our beloved Godot game engine? In his latest video, he tries to demonstrate Signed Distance Field Global Illumination or SDFGI in Godot and what this will do for your Godot 4 game. If you want to hear his thoughts and conclusions, then please head over there and check out this video and his others on his channel. Ivy Sly has an interesting video out explaining how to create the grabbing and throwing enemy mechanic in Godot. There are all sorts of throws and grabs you can do. You can even catch projectiles which are fired at you by enemies and launch them back at them. He spends some time going through the code for the character controller and the concept for how the mechanic works. So if you want to achieve this in your own game, then head over to Ivy's channel to learn all about it right now. Devworm has a quick tutorial out on making animated tiles in Godot. He explains the process really well and you'll be so grateful that you'll soon be exploring all his other tutorial videos which include how to make smooth acceleration, how to set up moving platforms, how to create smooth dashing and much much more. All in Godot of course. Devworm is doing a fantastic job of creating highly accessible tutorials for the Godot game dev community. So please go over to his channel and subscribe to show him your support. Cron is another channel who makes great Godot tutorials and his latest one explains how to create a glow effect in Godot in under a minute. These quick tuts are excellent for getting the info you need fast and then applying it in your own game. There are loads more such as creating a slow motion effect adding an economy system, and so on. There's a wealth of content available on his channel, so go over and see for yourself. You will not be disappointed. Finally, Alan V also has one minute tuts, and the most recent one explains how to make destructible and breakable objects in Godot. Besides quick tutorials, his channel also has interesting devlogs for the game which he's making in Godot. So if you want to follow along, then make your way to his channel and subscribe so that you don't miss the next update. That's all for this week. As always, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.